Hi, I'm Linda Lindholm, Mayor of the City of Laguna Niguel, and it is an honor and privilege to present this year's State of the City Address. As Mayor, I'm pleased to share with you our accomplishments over the past year and present our plans and vision for the future. First, let me start by saying that our city continues to be financially sound and stable. Our budget is balanced and I'm proud to say we have no debt. Our total revenue for last year was $42 million, an increase of $4.2 million from the year before. And our main source of revenue continues to come from sales and property taxes. On the expenditure side, public safety continues to be our top priority and largest expense at $10.4 million, or 27% of our budget. We are also committed to ensuring that the city's overall high quality of life and our parks, sports fields, roads, streets, and facilities continue to be well-maintained and in top-notch condition. The city also invested $10.4 million, or 25% of its budget, in our capital improvement program in fiscal year 2013-2014. Thanks to sound conservative practices and prudent financial management, our investment portfolio remains secure. The city has approximately $44.3 million in reserves with $13.7 million set aside for unexpected events and $30.6 million is designated for capital asset and infrastructure replacement. The safety and security of our residents is very important for the City Council and Laguna Niguel continues to be one of the safest cities in Orange County. Under the leadership of our new police chief, Lieutenant Matthew Barr, and the hard work and dedication of our sheriff's deputies, we have seen a 16% reduction in Part 1 crimes over the past year and an 18% reduction in property crimes. Our Neighborhood Watch Program, which expanded last year, and our Business Watch Program continue to be two of our most successful and effective tools when it comes to crime prevention. We also saw an increase in citizen participation in our Citizens Academy and Community Emergency Preparedness Academy. In an effort to build upon community relations, Lieutenant Barr introduced the Coffee with a Cop program earlier this year. This program was very well received by the community and a subsequent event is planned for later this year. The Orange County Fire Authority provides fire protection and prevention services to our city. We enjoy an excellent working relationship with our firefighters and paramedics. Last year, the Fire Authority responded to 3,662 calls in Laguna Niguel, of which 2,685 were for emergency medical services. The average response time to each call was under six minutes. Many thanks to the men and women of the Orange County Sheriff's Department and the Orange County Fire Authority who serve our community. Laguna Niguel continues to be a business-friendly city and we take great pride in the many businesses that have chosen to set up shop in Laguna Niguel. We're committed to providing every business in our community the opportunity to thrive and succeed. Our city has teamed up with SCORE, a nationwide nonprofit organization dedicated to the formation, growth, and success of small businesses to provide free business training workshops and one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions for business owners. Last year, we saw the opening of many new businesses in our community, and recently, we were pleased to welcome the first West Coast operation of Lifetime Fitness. This beautiful new facility in the center at Rancho Niguel offers exceptional health and fitness programs, including indoor and outdoor pools, full-service spa, healthy cafe, nationally renowned instructors and personal trainers, cutting-edge fitness equipment, and much more. We look forward to their success for many years to come. In addition, many of our local businesses and shopping centers have undertaken improvements of their own. We congratulate Aliso Village Shopping Center, home to Whole Foods, on a major renovation of their entire center that will give it a new, modern look. In the Gateway area, Allen Cadillac has also undertaken a major remodel of their facility. The project includes a new two-story, 20,000 square foot, Cadillac showroom, customer waiting area, and administrative offices. A new service and parts facility with an expansion of the multi-story parking structure for vehicle inventory parking is also under construction at the Hyundai dealership. Speaking of the gateway to our city, you may have noticed a lot of activity in this area over the last year. With the completion of the eastbound Crown Valley Parkway widening project between Cabot Road and the I-5 freeway, 
Construction is underway on the upscale luxury apartment living at Crown Complex and Career Lofts. Both projects are expected to be completed in early 2015. The future for this area looks bright as we continue to attract interest from retail, restaurant, and hotel uses. Our goal is to see the Gateway area transition into an attractive and desirable transit and pedestrian oriented urban village where people live, work, and shop. This year, we are happy to celebrate the 25th anniversary of our city's incorporation. I'm proud to say Laguna Niguel has become one of the most desirable cities in Orange County in which to buy a home, raise a family, or start a business. Why? Take a look around you. We have some of the most beautiful parks and trails in the county. Our sports fields and facilities are second to none. We have a great school district and a thriving business community. When we incorporated in 1989, our population was approximately 44,500. Today, our community has grown to nearly 63,000 residents. For 25 years, our local community parks and sports fields have been a great source of fun and enjoyment for all our citizens. But like a lot of things, over time, some become outdated and in need of a makeover. Last year, the city undertook a series of improvement projects at various parks throughout the city. This year, work will begin on improvements at three more local parks. Starting in the fall, new playground equipment will be installed at Beacon Hill, Yosemite, and Ocean Breeze Parks. The new equipment will feature thematic and artistic elements that will tie into the name of each park. In addition to these three local parks, at the top of the list, and a project I'm very excited about, is Crown Valley Community Park, the crowning jewel of our park system. Later this year, we will begin the first phase of the largest improvement project ever undertaken in this park's history. For the past several months, Council Member Jerry Sluswitz and I have served on an ad hoc committee working with city staff to develop a plan for much needed improvements to this park. Recently, the entire City Council reviewed and endorsed the following improvements at our Premier Park. Phase one of these improvements includes replacement of the existing playground equipment with new multicolored, multi-sensory play equipment areas offering fun and age-appropriate activities for children. The new playground will be set in a Wildland Cove theme, complete with picnic tables for families or small group get-togethers. A new splash pad will be constructed offering a variety of dynamic, interactive experiences, including squirting, spraying, and cascading water. The amphitheater will undergo a major renovation and feature a new elevated stage platform, enlarged dance floor, reconstructed stage backdrop, new seating, and much more. A new restroom building that will include a family restroom and changing facilities will also be constructed to serve visitors to the amphitheater playground and splash park. The cost for this phase of the project is estimated between 3 and 3.6 million and will be paid for with existing funds. Construction is scheduled to begin in September 2014 with an estimated completion date of spring 2015. I want to thank my fellow council members Jerry Sluswitz, Lori Davies, Robert Ming, and Mayor Pro Tem Jerry McCloskey for the support of these projects. These new improvements will greatly enhance the look and feel of our parks and be a source of continued fun and entertainment for all our residents for years to come. Another beautification project scheduled for this year involves the medians along Crown Valley Parkway. The medians from Cabot Road to the city's southern boundary at Camino del Avion will receive decorative concrete and a new reclaimed water irrigation system. In addition, new ground cover, additional trees and plants, will replace the grass turf along the median from Cabot Road to Glen Rock. Many of you may be wondering about plans for the county courthouse located next to City Hall. The County of Orange, who owns the property, is currently seeking proposals from developers interested in transforming the site into something new and exciting. Recognizing this is a prominent site in the heart of the community, we will be working closely with the county to create an attractive and exciting place for new retail, restaurant, office, cultural arts, and hotel uses. We envision the new facility to be people-oriented and complement the library and civic uses. It will create opportunities to strengthen the vitality of Town Center. This project is in the very initial stages and will take several years to design, review, and build. Your City Council has always placed a high priority on providing excellent customer service to its residents. 
But how do we know if we're doing a good job? As your mayor, I truly believe that resident input is essential in helping us identify what works, what doesn't, and where there's room for improvement. In January, we conducted our fifth resident satisfaction survey. Residents were asked a series of questions about the quality of life in Laguna Niguel and the overall performance of city services. Of those surveyed, 98% of residents rated the quality of life in our city as excellent or good and over 95% of residents are satisfied with the level and quality of service provided by the city. While these numbers continue to be remarkable, the purpose of the survey was not only to identify if the city was on the right path, but also provide residents the opportunity to let us know if we can do things better. One thing that did change in this year's survey was our citizens' preference for how they receive communication from the city. Our city utilizes a variety of communication tools to inform and engage residents and businesses, including the city's website, recreation brochure, social media, e-newsletters, and more. In years past, the city's recreation brochure was a preferred mode of communication. However, the results of this year's survey reveal that our residents' preferred communication tool is the city's website. This year, the city also launched its new mobile application called my Laguna Niguel. We recognize that more people are turning to mobile platforms for quick and easy access to information. The new app features GPS mapping and directions to all city parks, trails, and facilities, as well as local restaurants, shops, and entertainment venues. Residents have the ability to report an issue in the city and attach photos, video, or voice recordings, all from the palm of their hand. In closing, the city of Laguna Niguel is a wonderful city, and I'm deeply honored to serve as its mayor. We have come a long way since incorporation. Much has been accomplished, and many opportunities lie ahead. I feel confident that the same guiding principles that make Laguna Niguel a great place to live today will continue to guide us and chart our course for the future. I want to thank my colleagues on the City Council, Mayor Pro Tem, Jerry McCloskey, and council members Lori Davies, Robert Ming, and Jerry Slusowitz for their hard work and support. I also want to extend a special note of thanks to our city manager, Rod Foster, and city staff for the vital role they play in keeping Laguna Niguel a great place to call home. Thank you for joining me in this brief overview of the state of the city. And may God bless you and your families in this great place we call home. <music>